I just wanted to share my walk with you today. As I was walking along, there were some lovely Christmas decorations and there's snow on the ground. So that means Christmas isn't far away. And you can see all these Christmas decorations here. All along, lots of people have been decorating their houses for Christmas. And I want to share with you the story about Christmas and what Christmas is all about. So let's get back into the house, will we? And into the nice warm, because it's freezing out here. Ah, that's much better. I've got my cosy blanket on and I've got the heating on because I'm so cold from being outside in that snow. So today, we're going to read the first part of the Christmas story, like I'd said when I was on my walk. And we're going to learn about what Christmas is really all about. Because the decorations are lovely, and putting up our tree is great fun, but the real reason we celebrate Christmas is because Jesus was born. So let's find out what happens in our first part of our story. All right, let's get comfy in our seats, got our cozy blanket, and we're ready to read the story. So this story is called Gabriel Appears to Mary. God sent his angel Gabriel to Nazareth, where a girl called Mary lived. She was engaged to Joseph, who was descended from King David. Greetings to Mary, who has been chosen by God, says Gabriel. Mary was frightened at the sight of the angel, who said, Don't be afraid. God is pleased with you. You are going to have a baby called Jesus, who, who will rule your people. His kingdom will last forever. I'm not even married yet, said Mary. How can I have a baby? The Holy Spirit will make a baby inside you and he will be called the Son of God, said Gabriel. Even your cousin Elizabeth is to have a baby in her old age. Nothing is impossible for God. I am God's servant, said Mary. May everything you have said come true. The angel disappeared and immediately Mary went to visit her cousin Elizabeth. As soon as they met... The baby inside Elizabeth jumped and kicked. The Holy Spirit filled Elizabeth so that she knew what Gabriel had said to Mary. I am so happy that the mother of the Lord has come to me, said Elizabeth. When you spoke, the baby inside me jumped for joy. You believed that what God told you, so you will be really blessed. So God chose Mary and he was so pleased with her. He chose her to be the mum of baby Jesus and sent an angel to go and tell her. So now let's go and make a craft of an angel. Okay so we're going to make our angel and for that we need a piece of paper, paintbrush, pen, toilet roll tube, white paint, scissors, and I've got duct tape that you can use cellar tape. And last but not least is a pipe cleaner. So, firstly, we will draw our angel's wings. All right, they can be as fancy wings as you can make. And we're going to cut them out. Next, we're going to take our toilet roll tube and we are going to paint it with the white. And I have done that already, so I can set my other one to the side. And next, we get a bit of our tape to fill my glue. So, I'm just going to roll the tape to make it sticky on both sides. Put it in the middle of the wings. Put the wings. There we go. That's better. And now, we'll set that aside. We'll take our um, pipe cleaner and we're going to make a loop at the top. Here, like that. And just wrap that round a few times to hold it in place. going to cut to there. I'm going to get our tape again. Stick that one there. Stick that. 
and slate over ink. And if you've got lots of time, you can draw on all the details of the face and lots of um, maybe the clothes that they want to wear, some buttons and some nice things. And there it is. Angel. Well that was fun and I'm definitely warmed up now that I've been doing my craft. I hope you enjoy doing your angel and learning the first part of our Christmas story. Now I hope you all have a fab week and remember if you still want to hand in your armour um, outfits you can still put it in the email that's below and we will have a look at your cool armor well thank you all for watching and i'll see you all next week bye